Hello. Uh, so I want to also quickly give you another update uh, with our app. So, so far with our app, we have added a couple of things uh, apart from authentication that we did the other, uh, the other day and I demonstrated to you in the previous demo. In today's demo, I want to show you a new um, mode you have added, the point of sale uh, here. And by the way, I'm on the hosted version. Okay, so you can see that uh, here we have added the point of sale um, uh, functionalities. We are fetching all the categories nicely here with this slider. And by the way, you can just look at this layout. Okay. So we have a number of layouts in the app and the point of sale has its own layout and you can see here it has this nice stuff where you can access to other things. You can access, go back for instance to users by just clicking on this. You go back to the users but you can still go back to the point of sale. First of all, you notice that even if we refresh the page, the other items, they still remain because we are using, combining the power of Redux and the local storage to make this happen, okay? So one thing you can do, first of all, you can remove an item right away uh, if you already have items added. So let me first clear everything right now. So you can have categories and if you don't have any category selected, it will be this uh all categories or all products selected this first one and you could just go and select uh other things like you can just say fashion and you see fashion has no products go bags and bags have no products but if for instance we do like computers computers have you can see has these two items so you can just go ahead and add these two items uh right now Maybe uh, electronics also have no. Let's go back to computers and we can add these two items. So you add this. So the first thing is that you notice when you add an item, it automatically shows you that you can remove this item if you want it. And let's add it one more time. So when you add it, the item has automatically quantity of one, as you can see here you if you tend to you can increase the quantity as you're increasing the quantity you see we calculate the number of items you have the subtotal amount you have the tax you will pay and then we give you the total sum amount you are supposed to pay when you are going to make this order let's add one more item so now you can see we have two items now and we have the subtotal and this so this uh, gives a person a good control. They can either remove the quantity, the item from this side, or they can remove the item from this side. I've already showed you if you click here, it will remove it. But if it also has a quantity of one and you click on minus, it is going to automatically remove it from the other items and as well clear it from this side, okay? And the good thing is you can just also refresh the page. So if you accidentally cross the page or for some reason you still actually have all the other items uh placed in this okay uh so this is what we have been doing and one more thing i can tell you that the filtering we are using as you can see here uh, items are filtered by the category that's why you're able to see like all items see one item and so on and so forth okay so yeah, thank you. Uh, if you're interested in using or seeing this, you have many options. One of them is you can join us to the course uh, here. I'm just going to link the course uh, link where we are building this app uh, together. Uh, you're going to find the uh, link to the course in the description. You can just go read more about, watch all the demos and all that, okay? uh and if you're interested to look at redux only i recently published this video on youtube actually of next js uh, with redux where i actually did a number of examples explaining redux in details so you can just go ahead and watch this 
and I did not stop only on the video. I also went ahead and created a full blown up guide uh, here in our desk sub docs. Uh, you have a full guide for Redux, uh, taking you step by step. Uh, if you didn't understand the video or you need to any reference, you can always reference to this full guide. Okay. So thank you. Uh, let me see you in the course.